Hi guys, today I'm here with my monthly favorites, showing you everything that I loved throughout the month of March. Is it March? I have no idea. <laughs> We're in a bit of a weird time right now, but I did just film a Get Ready With Me. If it is not too much of a bummer, because it's my first time filming in a while and I'm in a weird mood, because you know, uh, that will be linked down below. Otherwise, um, and as always, everything I'm wearing on my face will be listed down below, but let's go ahead and get started. So it's been a bit of a lower makeup month than normal. I definitely have not found myself putting on makeup as much as I normally do. I just haven't really been in the mood, but a couple of products that I did try that just launched and they really, really impressed me are from the Milani Salt and Pepper collection. So I've got a full tutorial using this palette and lipsticks down below, but this is the um, Hot and Cool, Hot, Cool and Vicious palette. This is kind of the, I guess, more wearable, warmer palette. Uh, you guys voted on Instagram and I was surprised you picked this one because the other one had like a bunch of bright colors, but the eyeshadows in here are really gorgeous. There's a bunch of different textures. There's like mattes, really, really, really intense like almost creamy shimmers and then a really beautiful beam and highlight in the center this is going to be available um, in Canada at Shoppers Armor I believe it's already available on their website so I will have that linked down below along with this lip combination is gorgeous the lip liner especially I really love but I love the lipstick and the two of them together are great uh, they're in the shade Shoop this is the understatement lip liner which i've never tried this formula of lip liner from milani before but it's really creamy really comfortable but the color is especially what gets me uh, and the lipstick is great too milani has always made really really good lipstick so although um salt and pepper is like just before my time i think uh, i can't necessarily uh, i don't know as much about the collaboration itself but to speak to the makeup uh, it is really, really good, and it's a cool collaboration. It's cool for them to collaborate because, like, they're obviously so impactful. They, I didn't really know their music very well. I know, like, exactly who they are. They're pretty iconic, so it's pretty cool to see them partner with them, but the makeup is great, too. So the lipstick that I'm wearing right now, I haven't actually worn in a while, but this is, this is my first time putting it on in a while, but I was like, ooh, this is so good. Uh, it's in the shade Clay Crush. It's one of the Maybelline matte lipsticks in their kind of regular format. I think this was like the smoky mattes or what was this collection? It wasn't the intimates because the intimates came in like a beige tube. I don't know. It's irrelevant, but this is a really good shade. I'm wearing it with no lip liner. So it's like just light enough. Like I could, I could definitely wear a lip liner with this. And if I would, I would wear something like this Milani on. I talked about this in a recent video, but don't be scared of lip liner. I was always scared of lip liner because you do kind of think of that 90s, although the 90s are back, but I don't know if you can see a difference. It just adds a little bit of definition to colors that are a little bit light or might look a little stark on your skin. I think it makes a world of difference. Um, more so if you put it on before the lip and then kind of fill in the middle of your lip, but you get the idea. Anyways, uh, I love that lipstick. Then this eyeliner I wore in my Urban Decay Naked foundation review, and these are so good. I don't know if they be, have been discontinued because when I went to link them in the video, I had a little trouble tracking it down, but this drew on so beautifully. It lasted all day. Like you can see it in the wear test from morning till night. It lasted and the color is so vibrant and blue. And I love the look of colored eyeliner, but I feel like it's a little bit more rare for them to come in this kind of pen format and still have great color. ColourPop has them as well. Um, I think I have a green one and maybe a pink one from ColourPop, but yeah, they've got all the different colors if these ones are discontinued, but I can't speak to the wear time of those as much, but this one lasted all day and I was super impressed. Then I've talked about this highlighter in quite a few videos recently. I used it in a Get Ready With Me. I talked about it in my favorite drugstore makeup of the moment video, but again, I have been using it a ton, so I wanted to tell you. Um, it's the NYX High Gloss Illuminating Powder. I know like, you know, for me, there's certain people, I only watch their 180 days, I only watch their vlogs, I only watch their Get Ready With Me, so like maybe you only watch my favorites but this is the NYX high gloss illuminating powder in daytime halo this has like a bouncy texture and really looks so beautiful and so bright on the skin but has no chunks there's not it's not textured it's very very smooth and I think it's a gorgeous gorgeous formula quite unique to anything at the drugstore right now it comes in three different shades um, I haven't tried the other shades but everything I've tried from this like born to glow line has been amazing but i do need to test the concealer i have not tried that yet 
So next I want to talk about two scrubs. Because I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup lately and my like self-care game has been off. Like for me this is not this is not the kind of time where I'm like, oh, doing face masks and doing manicures, that's, I do that kind of stuff when I feel really good. And when I feel bad, I tend to take less time to take care of myself. So these are a couple of things that I've been using that have made me feel better texturally and one of them both texture and scent. So this is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. I've talked about the lavender one of this before and I like, I was never a huge fan of lavender, but I enjoyed the Dove lavender, but this is my jam. This is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish polish crush almond and mango butter if you love mango oh man it smells incredible it reminds me of like a mango lassi lassi from like an indian restaurant this is so good the texture of it is amazing so you get a really really good scrub the smell is good it leaves your skin feeling super hydrated and like i said you know i've been feeling kind of overwhelmed and kind of down and something like this i used this in the shower last night i hadn't used it in a while and i was like wow it feels really good like obviously my skin felt really good afterwards but it felt good just to kind of scrub and felt like i was doing something the smells felt really good smells really good and i really really love that and then for my face similarly again just to get that like textural feeling this is the um my clarins radiance exfoliating powder so basically you put some of this in your hand a couple of drops of water or like a you can actually mix it in with your cleanser which i thought was interesting and use this to exfoliate the skin it has a really gentle texture so even if you have a more delicate or sensitive skin type i think you could enjoy this and because it's in the powder format you can kind of choose how much powder you want to put in for what level of scrub you want to get and this just leaves my skin feeling like super fresh and super clean. I've been pretty lazy with my skincare lately so in the daytime uh, I've definitely been trying to keep up with using a vitamin C. I feel like everybody should be using a vitamin C in their routine. It's good for brightening, for texture, for tone and you know depending on the format it's good for any skin type any age should be using a vitamin C. So more recently I've been testing this one out from Estee Lauder. It's their new Perfectionist Pro Rapid Brightening Treatment for Ment Plus Vitamin C. It's got such a nice light texture again and this one could be good for any skin type because it is really light but it's also nice and hydrating it sinks into the skin so if you want to put your moisturizer on top of it it doesn't feel heavy even if you have oily skin and I really feel like this just kind of brightens up my skin like I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup and I feel like the addition uh, you know adding back vitamin C into my routine I can really see that difference when I have no makeup on and then depending on what's going on at night been really lazy with my, my skincare. I've been using this both day and night. I've talked about this before, but I love it. It's the, the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. It says it's for normal to dry skin. In my opinion, this is 100% for any skin type. It is unlike any product I've ever tried before. It's got this milky texture. And the best way to use this is I generally use it on bare skin and I'll pat in a layer and try and pat in like two or three layers. Sometimes it's just one though, depending on my energy levels in the nighttime, but it leaves my skin soft, supple, hydrated, but it is so lightweight. It's crazy, but such a good product. And I've used this a lot and I've had it for a while and you only need the tiniest tiniest amount and then I've been using this more or less every single night it's one of my favorite facial oils of all time and it's from the drugstore and it is a Canadian brand and again great for all skin types this is the Squalane facial oil from Indeed Laboratories generally this is $19 sometimes on sale for $15 at shoppers and I really, really love this. They actually, I saw on their Instagram, recommend mixing this in even with a hand cream at night if you're, you know, washing your hands a lot, using a lot of hand sanitizer. I haven't tried that because I want to savor for my face, but I really love this. And I've been using this for months and months and months, and I really feel like it helps my skin overall, be it breakouts, tone, everything. It just kind of is an all-in-one oil, and it doesn't feel heavy. It feels really, really good, so I recommend it for any skin type. And then the last thing I want to mention is the Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk 25 Benefit Leave-In. So this I got from a beauty supply store months ago at Bay and Dundas, I think it is. And I bought this because this is what the, one of the brands that my stylist uses on my hair when I get a blowout. So this has 25 different benefits, which I will not read out to you. But the reason I like having 
um, leave-in conditioners that are heavy so they'll, they'll be for like a day one when my hair is wet and then I like having a spray for like day two three four curls so that they're gonna be first of all it's gonna be a little lighter weight but I can like get in there at the back of my head and just kind of spray around and add a little bit of moisture to my curls after wash day so I really like this this was uh, $14.99 and it says it does a million things safer color treated hair style refresher add smoothness lightweight controls flyaways uh, blah 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 it's just basically a great lightweight um, leave-in conditioner I'm not sure where else you can get this but it's the Mazzani so I'll link it down below and of course Google is your friend but thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jean YT and I'll see you guys next time bye